Good morning FlossTube, welcome to my channel about cross stitch. I'm Sally, Stitchy Sally here and also over on Instagram. Um, today is Wednesday the 30th of March 2022 and this is Tube number 21. Welcome back or welcome if you are a new viewer. I have had a few new subscribers recently. Um, I've also lost a few subscribers recently. Who knows? Um, I was watching Elaine, Ali Wally Stitcher. Um, I think it was not her last Fostube, Fostube before, and she was saying she tries not to let it bother her when she loses subscribers, but sometimes it does, and I tend to find that as well, because she do start to think, what am I doing wrong? Why, why don't people like me? And obviously, it could just be uh, a YouTube glitch or whatever. But anyway. We won't dwell on that. Um, I do have quite a bit to show you today and I'm going to get on because um, I've got Abby stitching to show and she's going to work in a bit so, and she wants to take it with her to show her colleague. So I'm going to get started. Um, I've got a few finishes. haven't got any um, FFOs, fully finished objects, because I can't be bothered at the moment to do them. Get in there. Uh, so my first finish is this one, which is Laurie Holt's Being My Bonnet, and it is Pleasant and Gentle, my Friday Night Sheep Stitch with Barb. And that is my finish. So this is stitched on 32 count um, Stormy Skies Murano by Zwagart with DMC and I think I'm probably going to finish that into a little pillar or I might actually have something upstairs that it might just uh, go into as well. Um, a little, oops, everything's falling over. Like a little box tray type thing that Jess found when she was having a clear out. So that is my first finish and then my next one is from um, the Blackbird Designs book My Heart is True and it is ooh, straight to it, this one, I've got it in my book, um, A Flock of Birds. I'm rushing, sorry. I just want to get going before Abs goes to work. And this is my finish. <clears throat> and I've stitched it on 28 count uh, gingham fabric. I can't remember the colourway of it, but I know it's not the same as in the book. Um, and I've just used DMC, the DMC conversion uh, in the book. So that's that all finished really pleased with how that's come out. I kind of just went through a bit of a stage where I wasn't really enjoying it and I considered just scrapping it but I'm really pleased with it, with it now. I'm pleased that I persevered and finished it. And then um, I hadn't actually started this last time I filmed. I started this little cute chart and it is Twisted Threads Kitty Cat and it's mini gingham. Um, this is actually stitched over one on the 28 count gingham but I chose to stitch it over two instead and do excuse the creases because I've not ironed it because I've not decided what I'm doing with it yet. It's not ready, quite ready for finishing and there it is. So again, stitched on the 28 count gingham um, that I stitched a flock of birds on using DMC. And that is really cute. And I won that chart from uh, Leslie, Leslie Hurley, um, who is Fat Cat, Fat Cat Blossing on Instagram. I won it in um, a giveaway last year. 
so I'm going to be giving that chart away in this floss tube if anybody is interested. And then my next finish and final finish is Fiddlesticks AU Nightingale, uh, which was a fundraising chart um, for the Red Cross uh, in Ukraine. And what's that? I've got it cut out ready to finish. It's got some interfacing on the back. I really enjoyed stitching this. It's a real, real sweet little stitch. I think I'd nearly got it finished last time anyway, so. So that's that done. So of course, finishes mean new starts. So my first new start, get it out, is this one. And this is Silver Creek Samplers Lost and Found, which my lovely friend Sue gifted me for my birthday last year. Oh, my hair's doing it. always flicks out at this time, this side, it's so annoying. Um, and on the, I won't show you actually because otherwise it'll end up showing a bit of the chart. Um, it's charted in DMC and one of the numbers is 382 and I can't find a DMC 382. So I am actually assuming, because it's only used in, I don't know if you can see, the dove's beak. A little bit of like a yellowy colour in the dove's beak. Um, so I'm assuming it's maybe 3821 or something like that. Um, so I'll just use that because as far as I can see it's not used anywhere else. So I'll just, I'll just do that. And these are most of the DMCs. I think some of them are in other in other um, floss buddies and I'm stitching this on 25 count vintage sand and there's my stars no nope. that way up <laughs> Usually I put a little piece of uh, cotton in the top, but I, I just suddenly remembered I did it so that that was at the top. Don't know whether that's what you're supposed to do with, with those. I know some people have said where you're supposed to have this, but I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's my start. And that is this bit of the sheep here. I'm, working, I'm just gonna work my way up there. So that's one new start. I'm gonna dump that over there, I'll put it away later. It'll probably all fall over, but never mind. And then my next new start was with um <coughs> Laney on Saturday for our BBD cell. And that, that started some of my sheep cell with Barb. Forgot to say that. So this is my start with Laney. And it's Black Bear Designs, the rarest flower. And I'm just stitching these mostly with DMC. I do have gas den dive there because um, the conversion for two of the greens was 3011 and I didn't want to use it on both. So I just, I had, I, luckily I had the end dive in my stash. And this has been stitched on 35 count uh, platinum linen by Zwagart. I'm going to stitch all the ones that I've got. I don't have the full set because I didn't want them all. But I have a plan for them. So I just got really what I needed, the, the ones that I liked the most. So that's my start there. I am sorry, I do I feel as though I'm rushing through, but I'm just keeping my eye on the time. <clears throat> and then So 
sorry, just looking at my notes because I had a, a bit of a, a blank there. And then my next new start is this one. Cosford Rise Stitchery Platinum Jubilee. Which was one of my, which is part of my haul uh, in my last video. And this is all stitched in DMC. And this is where I've got up to now. Um, I have made a mistake, because why not? <laughs> um, the gap between this line and this line is too close. Um, but it's fine, I, I, I wasn't going to unpick it because I'd got all this, all this stitched. I think that's looking really nice up to now. So that's that new start. And the threads are in, in, uh, in here. Uh, I think it's the, these ones at the top. At least some of them are in there anyway. Um, and then these are the threads for the Barbara Anna Will You Stitch With Me Sal, which <laughs> I've kitted and not started as yet. One day. So those are my new starts. Left my drink over there. Um, and then on to my whips. And um, the first one is Plum Street Samplers Always Remember. And if you've watched me before, you'll remember I'm not going to stitch the eagles and I'm going to change the wording. Um, still not decided exactly what I'm doing where the eagles are. Um, I think this top one may be a dove and I've also stitched the Union Jack instead of the Stars and Stripes. So I used the chart from my um, Platinum Jubilee sampler uh, to stitch the Union Jack. So I've got the Union Jack done, I've got all the filling in the grass done down here. <coughs> so it's just a case of, before I pick this up next week, I need to chart out uh, the wording that I want and just make my mind up what I'm going to put in where the eagle should be. And that's stitched on 35 count pearl grey linen by Zweigarth. Uh, hopefully that might be a finish in a, in a week or two. <coughs> and then next is right, excuse the rattling. Next up Christmas Garden. Blackbird Designs from the book Home for the Holidays. Really pleased with how this is stitching up. Really, really pleased. And this is on 36 count latte from, from Foxglove and Lace Linen. And there we have it. I don't know what I've stitched since last time, other than I know this because I started this last night. Um, probably finish this this one here. Actually, I've missed two stitches there, so I really do need to go back and do those. I did. I forgot to do them last night, and I actually looked at the chart last night and thought, "Oh my God, I'm." Even though there is still a lot more to do, it's I've got more done than I've got left to do, if that makes any sense. Obviously, I've still got all the filling on the border to do as well, but we'll get there. I've, 
had to put the big light on today because it's very dull and rainy we have had some beautiful spring days it's been quite warm and now <laughs> it's just the weather's gone yucky again but it happens that. and then we have Winter Rose Manor by With Thy Needle and Thread, which is was my birthday start with the hashtag Stitchy Sally's Winter Birthday Sal. And I'm using nearly all of the called for. I did make one or two substitutes. Um, so that's 40 counts vintage country mocker. And as you can see, the roof is on. Still needs to do the door. Um, I'm getting the, the curtains, I assume, up. So I need to get the gardeners in soon. I'm really pleased with how this is looking. The, as I say, the, um, the rose quartz on the house doesn't really look show up very well. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's not the best. <laughs> but that's, uh, that's another one that I'm really enjoying stitching. As I've said before, big pieces, I usually turn tired and just <laughs> want to get them over with, but... Um, I think I'll be sad to see those two finished Christmas Garden and Winter Rose Manor and then the next one is um, Sue Hillis Designs A Study in Blue and I'm stitching this with all the called for the 32 Count Vintage Country Mocha and the Gas Dungarees and <laughs> I'm a little bit worried about this one actually at the moment because There's the alphabet. And I'm just a bit worried because it's getting very, very close over this side, but I did start in the middle with the alphabet, so it should go on. I mean, obviously you've not got a massive margin because it's not being framed, it's going round a box. So it should be okay, she says. So that'll be coming out tonight. I'll be holding my breath. <laughs> Just to see what happens. Oops. Get rid of all those stringy bits so I don't get them stuck in my zip. And then my final whip is Stitch Princess Nights alphabet sampler and I'm stitching the Ukrainian alphabet and I must say I hate this fabric it's linen it's blue spruce and it's just a bit of a pain to see I mean I have a I have like a mother and baby lamp um, behind me um, but even with that, so that's where I'm at. Getting on quite well with it actually. I've got quite a lot done. Quite pleased, quite pleased with that. I think it looks really good. So I'm stitching that in the uh, the DMC. Uh, on off the chart. It's going to be one of those days today. Um, I am sorry. This this floss tube just feels like I really shouldn't have even started it. <laughs> right. Um, 
on to abyss stitching now and you will remember last time that she had started the squirrel um, by I can't remember, I can't remember the designer's name but I will put, put it in the uh, it's uh, Svetlana, is it SA stitch or something? I can't remember, but I will put it in the description box below. And look at this. All finished. She um, she did the final back stitching on it yesterday. She was off work yesterday. And then last night, she, uh, she finished it completely. It's all backed. And everything she's done it all herself he's really cute isn't he absolutely adorable and we have money he's all done and I think she's made a great job considering um, she's not really finished, well I said not really finished anything, I've got something to show you that she has. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm so proud of her, so proud of her because yes yeah, she used to stitch years ago when she was uh, little, uh, when Sandman Originals was going, she used to stitch quite a few of, um, of their designs and uh, Sandy the lady from Sandman, she used to send her packages with charts and things in um, but she's not not done a massive amount obviously she did a, uh, a secret Santa the, the uh, gnome for the secret Santa before Christmas so I'm really proud of her because it you know it just helps her as well and uh, yeah so it was Mother's Day here in the UK on Sunday and um, I'm just going to show you uh, my, my prezzies. These lovely fluffy socks are from Freddy. <gasps> and Freddy wrapped these and wrote on the paper. And he, and he got a bit, bit mischievous, he nibbled the paper as well. So yeah, those, are, those are sweet, sweet fluffy socks are from Freddy. And then um, Jess and I were discussing um, which Discworld books I still needed. I've been collecting them for quite a few years. Um, I became interested when Sky One did an adaptation of The Hogfather um, and I bought that book and read it and then decided that I wanted to try and collect all the rest. <laughs> all oh, 41 of them now um, so she was mentally taking notes of what I didn't have so she bought me this beautiful hardback version of Nightwatch which um, there was an, an adaptation of I think it was a mixture of uh, this book possibly and Guards, guards, um, and characters and things in uh, the watch that was on TV, which we really enjoyed. So I'm looking forward to reading this, but it won't be just yet because I'm only on um, Small Gods at the moment. I'm reading that one. And then Abby had been very, very sneaky, and after I'd gone to bed on a night, she'd been stitching. And a bit during the day as well, and if she heard me coming, she'd throw it under a quilt. <laughs> so this is what Abby stitched me for Mother's Day. Isn't that cute? That is absolutely gorgeous. <coughs> She's made a fantastic job of that. And I made her laugh because I said to her, that fabric's mottled. Is it um, vintage sand? And she went, yeah <laughs> but obviously I'm stitching my sheep on vintage sand so so yeah 
that's what she stitched me and she made me laugh because she said to me last night um I can come and ask you things now I can come come and ask you for things in happy instead of having to sneakily go look for things and she could she took threads and I had no idea she got them so I think that's lovely that is really really sweet right what time is it right I need to get done now because she'll need to be getting ready soon to go to work um, so um, this was my giveaway from my last video for my 600 subscribers but nobody was interested in it so not entirely sure what I'm going to do with that because I'm not going to stitch it myself now I've decided that I won't so I might just have to give it away on Instagram or something like that so um, so this one will be my giveaway Twisted Threads Kitty Cat um, and if you'd like to be in with a chance to win this use the word kitty um, you've got until my next video if you're interested and I'm sorry it is UK only um, postage is just getting quite ridiculous really you know it's bound to happen because everything's going up um, but I'm not going to get started on that uh, don't use the word giveaway or competition contest anything like that I don't want any bots coming in or people just entering for the sake of entering it I want a stitcher to win and hopefully somebody will want this one um, so yeah just use the word kitty k-i-t-t-y and if anybody is interested I will pick a winner next time so that is me done I think um, I am thinking about mania yes I am um, not not starting something new for every day of May or anything like that I'm just gonna do my own thing but I, I'll talk about that next time because obviously we're not even into April just yet no we're not not long um, so um, I'll try and remember to talk about that nearer the time so thank you very much for watching um, please do hit the like button if you like what you see um, I'd love it if you'd leave me a comment um, and if you're a new uh, viewer let me know where you came from um, I think Kerry, Kerry of Kerry and Stitches she shouted me out a couple of videos ago I think and I did forget to say thank you so thank you so much for the shout out Kerry um, I'm a little bit behind on floss tube at the moment so I'm, hopefully I might uh, I might just get some watch this afternoon as soon as it's a yucky day just sit and stitch um, so yeah thank you thank you so much to all my su subscribers thank you to all those of you who stick with me every single video I, I can't thank you enough thank you I appreciate you all so until next time, stay safe, take care, have a wonderful stitchy fortnight and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.